Okay, cool. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, for those of you that I don't know, my name is Sophia. I have been a member of Young Living for about two years now. And that's basically what this call is, um, we're gonna be talking about is how to um, incorporate Young Living products into our lifestyle to help create a toxin-free lifestyle. Um, I personally love Young Living for this very reason because it's my easy button, as I like to say. Um, it makes everything simple. I don't have to buy things from all different places. They have so many different products, which we're gonna talk about a little bit more later. Um, but like I said, I've been a part of Young Living for two years. I live in Alvin, Texas with my husband. We've been married for a little over two years as well. So I started Young Living um, really soon after we got married. Um, I do Young Living as a business, so I do that pretty much full time, which has been super fun. I have made so many friends. The community is incredible, and I'm also um, making an income. I'm paying for all of our products every month with my income. I'm helping pay bills. Uh, well, more than anything, I'm getting my uh, me money, which is really nice. <laughs> and um, I have vision for this business to continue to grow and help um, us kind of meet some of our goals and things that we want to see in our lives um, in the future as far as our finances and um, our time. So lots of big goals and plans, which I'm really excited about. Um, but as far as living a toxin-free lifestyle, I really had no concept of that before I came to Young Living. I initially started Young Living for the business side and for the community. That was my main goal and my main objective. Um, I was in a situation, a time of life where I was very isolated and someone shared on social media about the community aspect of Young Living, running with friends and um, like going after this business with friends and that was what really drew me in. And I didn't know very much about essential oils or about um, Young Living itself or about toxins in our products. I really had very little concept of any of that, but I just jumped right in and started learning. And once I started to learn everything that was in our products, everything that, um, it, it really expanded my mind so much. I started to realize what's in our food, what's in our environment, um, and it really opened my eyes. I'll be honest with you guys. My only like concept of toxins and things like that um, was really just me like thinking it was all a joke and a marketing ploy. Whenever people um, would say like they were getting like clean products or green like the green movement that started i just really thought it was a way to like make people buy more expensive products um and i kind of thought it was a joke i didn't really think that it was possible that our products were harming us that much because if they were why were they on the store shelves how could people sell products that are hurting us um and hurting our health like that just didn't make sense um other than that i knew my mom was really sensitive to fragrances but i just thought it was like a weird allergy she had i didn't think much of it and looking back i see that um i had it wrong the whole time and it just took young living coming in my life to open my eyes um but what i found when my eyes were finally opened was so shocking and um upsetting but it also was very motivating and it drew me to switch over all of the products that we're using to plant-based non-toxic products um not just for our sake our health but for the sake of our um family for our future children for even the people around us the people that come into our home there's so many different reasons why I decided to make the switch and I will never go back. Um, I am so happy that I did. I just 
I want everyone in the world to understand how important this is. Um, so that's why we're here today. I want to share with you guys, um, everyone that's watching, whether you're live or on the recording, um, I just want um, people to understand that there is a better way and that even if you don't realize it, maybe um, there are a lot of harmful um, chemicals and ingredients in our products that are taking a toll on our bodies. So I wanted to start by just talking about a few different things um, that we know from studies that have been conducted about the products and the chemicals that we are using about our health in general um, as a society. And I wanna preface all of this by saying that this is not me trying to scare anybody into purchasing these products. I do not want to shame anybody for using um, conventional products. That's never my heart or my intention. Um, my intention truly is to raise awareness and to um, give you an opportunity to be empowered to make better decisions because what you don't know, you don't know. And there's nothing you can do about that. But my desire is to help raise awareness and help open people's eyes just like my eyes were open so that we can make better choices because regardless of whether or not we know about these things, they are affecting us. They are affecting um, our health and they're affecting the health of generations to come. So um, that is my desire. I hope that it comes as an education source, but please know I don't want to scare you or shame you or anything. Okay, so let's just jump in. Um, according to cancer.org, 609,000 Americans will die from cancer this year, or you could put it as 1,670 deaths per day. Um, you probably know somebody in your life, whether they are immediate family or someone close to you um, that has been affected by cancer. And I am so, um, I'm just so heartbroken by that. It shouldn't be that way. It didn't always used to be that way. Um, in fact, that's something that I've struggled with for a while is wondering if cancer has always been this prevalent in our society. Like, how did we not see it? How is it just becoming like so much more obvious now? And honestly, the fact is, is that it didn't used to be as prevalent. Um, one in three men and one in five women will have cancer by the age of 60, which is just unacceptable. And it shouldn't be that way. Um, cancer is the second most common cause of death, exceeded only by heart disease. The American Cancer Society says only 5% of these cases are from gene defects. So that means that this is not because of, um, you know, your uh, genes. What's the other word? It's not hereditary necessarily. There are some cases where it is, but 90 to 95% of the things that are causing cancer and this like epidemic in our society is because of environmental factors that um, we either can or can't control. Some things we can't control necessarily like the environment around us, um, but we can control things like our weight, tobacco use and exposure to other toxic chemicals, whether that's in your products or in your food. Um, it's honestly, a lot of it is what we are allowing into our homes, which is just, um, it's scary in a sense, but it's also, I hope, empowering um, to you that you know you can make a change. You can change what products you're using and that can change the trajectory of your life, honestly. Um, the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health studied 2,983 ingredients in our products at home and found 884 of them to be toxic. So I don't know the math, but that is like a good chunk. Um, that's probably close to like a third, maybe. Math, hard. Um, that's a lot of ingredients that they have studied and found to be toxic to the human body. 314 caused biological mutations 
218 caused reproductive problems, and 146 that they knew um, caused cancerous tumors. But they are still allowed in the United States, even though they are banned in other countries around the world. So that's something that is really hard to swallow is that these there are so many other countries that have realized the issues with these products and these chemicals and have banned them and the United States has not followed suit. We have continued to chase after money and chosen cheaper, more convenient options like harmful chemicals. So what exactly do we do about this? Um, to protect your family, it really begins with making changes in your home and starting with the biggest offenders first. So there are a lot of other things that we can do and I will probably touch on this again. Um, what we eat is a really big factor. If you um, didn't know pesticides that are sprayed onto our food are in extremely toxic. And so um, that's a really, really big part of it. If you wanna learn more about that, you should look up Dr. Zach Bush. Uh, he is incredible and is doing a lot of work in that arena and a lot of education. So don't get me started on that rant because I will just go on forever. Um, but let's talk about what we can do just with our products alone. So we can start with laundry soap, dishwasher soap, cleaning supplies, candles, and plugins. Toss your candles and plugins, people. Just throw them out. Look, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to share my screen and share um, just a little comparison, maybe. Uh, maybe it will let me. There we go, okay. So this is just a little comparison from diffusing essential oils to burning candles. I know a lot of us, we really love candles. They smell good. They make your house feel all warm and fuzzy and comforting, but they are terrible for us, okay? Um, and they're also way more expensive. Just look at the price difference there. That's crazy. So Dr. Andrew Sled, who specializes in environmental, environmental toxicology, says burning a candle in your home for two hours, just two hours, is the same as smoking a pack of cigarettes. Okay, most people that smoke a lot are smoking maybe a pack a day. That's like really a high amount. Um, people who burn candles are probably burning candles for well more than two hours a day. You guys, that is just unacceptable. <laughs> it's terrible. We know how bad s smoking cigarettes is for us. Burning candles is actually way worse. Crazy enough. 40% of candles are made with wicks that contain lead, which is not safe to breathe in. Um, and by making a swap from a candle to a diffuser with maybe like, let's say lemon oil, you're actually going to support your immune system instead of harming it. So like this graphic shows us, um, candles weaken our immune system. Um, and what's really awesome is that Essential oils strengthen our immune system, and we all know we could use a little immune strengthening right now. Um, so let's talk about these products and some of their carcinogenic ratings. You guys, nobody else is going to be the gatekeeper of your home except for you. You are the one that gets to make a choice what comes in and out of your home. So 26 seconds after exposure, Chemicals are found in measurable amounts in the human body. The average woman applies 300 chemicals a day to her body, and 80 of those happen before breakfast, just in your morning routine. The top 10 most dangerous chemicals in your home are air fresheners, like plug-ins and candles, chemical cleaning supplies for your counters, floors, toilets, drain, oven cleaners, furniture polish, which is very random, dishwasher soap and dish soap are also culprit. But can you imagine or guess what the number one poison in our family homes are? Is, is laundry soap, fabric softener, and dryer sheets, you guys. The stuff we're using on a very, very, very regular basis. 
The reason why this is, is because you are getting poisoned in three different ways when you use toxic um, laundry detergent and fabric softener and all of the things. Um, you are, as you're washing your home, actually filling your home with chemicals because it's going into the air, the steam and everything is carrying it into the air, which I never realized, but um, sometimes when I'm walking around my neighborhood now, I smell other people's laundry detergent from them doing laundry. And I never noticed that before, but it's like suffocating to me now. And it's just insane. Like you're not just poisoning yourself either. It's going into the air of all your neighbors and everything, which is crazy. <clears throat> okay, and then you wear your clothes on your body all day long, and those toxins are seeping into your skin from your clothes. And then the third way is that those clothes are going to outgas those toxic chemicals all night while they're sitting in your closet. So they're just gonna keep sharing and spreading all the toxins, which sucks, it's terrible. I wanna show you guys a comparison again, because um, you know, it's, it's easy to think that it's way more expensive and that's a great reason why you shouldn't make the switch, but um, it is actually cheaper to switch to non-toxic Thieves laundry detergent, um, if you compare per load. So Thieves is a highly, highly, highly concentrated laundry detergent, which you can either dilute into other bottles or you can just use a very small amount. Um, you can enhance it with Thieves cleaner or with lemon oil. Um, but honestly, I, I when I first started to use it, I think it took us about a year to go through one bottle and the bottle is so small, you guys, um, and it is completely toxin-free, which is amazing. Okay, so some other dangerous items in your home are hairspray, gel, shampoo, and deodorant. Um, deodorant is one of the worst because it contains aluminum, which is one of the leading causes of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. That information about the most dangerous chemicals in the home comes from a government study that you can Google called U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Top 10 Killer Household Chemicals. Honestly, it just is shocking to me that we even have like medical studies that talk about or not medical, but you know, scientific studies that are talking about the top 10 most dangerous household chemicals and yet no one's really talking about it. Like we have the evidence and the proof. I mean, do you get what I mean? It's crazy. So let's talk about toxic burdens. So you might make the argument that, well, I'm not using like this product that much, so it's probably not really doing that much damage to my body. Um, that's kind of the way I used to look at it. Like how much could it possibly be doing to me in just these small doses? But um, we have this thing in our bodies where we become overloaded with chemicals and our body can't continue to process and detoxify from all of the chemicals that we're using. So it's called a toxic burden. It's a buildup of chemicals in our body. And that's where a lot of our problems start to happen. So some symptoms of toxic burden, although these symptoms may be caused by other reasons, it could be a toxic burden. So lethargy, um, lethargy, I don't know, oops, I probably should have figured out how to say it before I said it out loud. Inability to focus, sleep trouble, chronic inflammation, unexplained pain, fibromyalgia, skin issues, adult acne, hormone issues, hot flashes, stress, stress, anxiety, and fear. So if you face any of these issues, um, one great place to start is by kicking chemicals to the curb. Um, it may not solve all your problems, but I can promise you it's going to help your body so much. I promise you that. Um, you can control what you allow into the four walls of your home. Just because it's something new and it's a different way doesn't mean that it's impossible, doesn't mean that it has to be overwhelming, doesn't have to mean that it's going to be expensive. I am here to help you. 
to make those switches and to make them easy on your wallet, on your budget, on your nerves, all of the things. It is possible to learn a new way and once you learn that new way, you will never go back, I promise. So you can cross um, a lot of these issues off your list um, by going as toxin-free as possible. That is most likely going to happen. Um, like I said earlier at the beginning of this call, my journey started with Young Living, um, and I promise you Young Living is going to change your health. It's going to change your life, and, um, you know, there are a lot of other options out there on the market, um, and, you know, I get this question a lot about just like, why can't I just use this product? Why do I have to go with an MLM? Why do I have to, um, you know, use Young Living specifically? Why does it have to be essential oils? And I'm going to get a little bit into that. Um, but I want to start off by saying that there is an issue on the market right now with a thing called greenwashing. So, um, it's important that we're very aware of where our products are coming from and what is in them because there are a lot of companies that are putting pretty flowers and uh, green or bright white colors on their packaging and making it look very um, appealing to the eye, making us think that it's probably safe for our use. It's less toxic than these other options, but there are still toxic ingredients in the products. It is called greenwashing. It is a marketing ploy. That really is a marketing ploy and it gets a lot of people. So what I would say first and foremost, one of the biggest reasons why I just use everything from Young Living is because I know I can trust Young Living and I'm going to give you some reasons why you should trust Young Living too, but it makes it so simple because you can trust Young Living. You can get almost everything you need from one place and you don't have to think twice about it, which is really nice. So um, when we're talking about why we should trust Young Living, let's start with Seed to Steel. So Seed to Steel is the standard of purity for Young Living, and it means no chemical overload, you guys. You can trust the name, you can trust Young Living. And um, the one thing that sets Young Living apart from all other oils out there is our Seed to Steel promise. It's gonna set us apart from really every other company out there because we are, very committed to quality, but especially with our essential oils. So let's break down what seed to seal actually means. Um, this is going to be a lot of referring to specifically the essential oils, but um, it also does refer to the other ingredients that we put in our products. Young Living is very committed to sourcing, um, be it ethical or sustainable or just non-toxic sourcing of all of their ingredients in their products. So at Young Living, we do not strip constituents to make our oil smell better. We do not mix species of the same oil. We don't spray weed colors or pesticides or herbicides or genetic, genetically modified seeds. Um, we spend $12,000 per acre to hand weed lavender instead of the industry standard of $60 per acre for the same plant. The industry standard is $60 per acre because spraying with pesticides is much cheaper than hand weeding which again, like I was talking about earlier, pesticides in our food, not good, but it's way cheaper and that's why people do it. We do not distill with solvents like hexane. Our soil is not tainted with mercury, um, arsenic, glyphosate, or any poison because our fields are untouched by toxic chemicals. And we know this for a fact because we um, test for toxic chemicals in the soil, water, and the air. We harvest at the exact time of day that Young Living's research team has found to be the ideal time for that specific plant. Um, we know when that peak is because of our extensive library on oils, the oldest and largest library globally. It's compiled from nearly 30 years of research at farms on six different continents. So um, I am going to be teaching chemistry of oils, I think, possibly next week. <laughs> I don't know, I should probably check my calendar, but um, I get more into like the science behind why that's important and it's really interesting to me. So I'd love to have you join us. Um, 
Our farms are all over the world and you can visit them for yourself, any of our farms, because we are that transparent. And let me tell you, you're not gonna find another essential oil company out there that owns their own farms or that you can visit the farms. We test eight times at the farm and then again at Spanish Fork, Utah, and then again after bottling. We do 24 tests per batch to make sure the oils meet our standards. Then we do third party testing with two accredited respected independent labs. And Young Living's oils are tested by scientists with over 180 years of combined lab experience. And most of those scientists were hand trained by our founder, Gary Young himself. Whew, so that's a mouthful, but that just gives you a small peek into why you can trust Young Living Essential Oils, why you can trust our products, because they are pure, they are safe, they are effective, and we make sure of that. Okay, so what exactly are essential oils? If you have been to any of my classes, you've probably heard me already talk about this stuff, but I feel like it's important because you never know who's going to watch this. I want to make sure that everybody knows some of these foundational truths about Young Living and about essential oils. So essential oils are the most powerful part of a plant. They repair and restore the plant when it's attacked or injured, and we can use them in our home to replace harsh chemicals. Um, what's actually cool about essential oils is that, you know, a lot of our pharmaceutical medicines were actually designed after plants and essential oils and their chemical constituents. Um, so we know that they work because science has been copying plants for years and years and years. There are millions of uses for them, such as supporting systems in the human body, like your cardiovascular system, your endocrine system, supporting your joints, your brain, your liver. I could go on. They can support every system in the body, but they can also be used for cleaning purposes and helping us with other, you know, personal care issues. Um, I personally only use Thieves Cleaner to wipe down everything in my house. So that's bathroom, stove, kitchen. Um, I mop my floors with it. I use it on my glass, everything. We're going to talk about it a little bit more in a minute. But I use their household cleaner for everything. And we also have a whole entire line of personal care products, an entire line of shampoos, soaps, conditioners, eye creams, face washes, everything that's completely chemical free. So basically everything you could ever need. And I will again get into that specifically in a minute. If you use oil infused supplements or products, what's really great about it is that you get the benefit of the supplement or the product, whatever it's going to do for your body, um, along with the power of the oil. So you're really getting like twice the effect, which is really cool. So other companies um, uh, may use essential oils in their products. That does happen. But it really matters where your oils are sourced from. And um, that's going to tell you if they are actually effective or not. There are four different types of oils on Earth. Grade A is authentic. Grade B is manipulated. Grade C is perfume and grade D is synthetic. It's really important that you only use grade A oil because of the concentration in the bottle. So um, any other type of essential oil, whether it's manipulated, perfume, or synthetic, either it's going to be just chemicals, it's going to have chemicals in it, or it's going to be like manipulated in some way, um, like whether they're taking out chemical constituents that give you the actual therapeutic effects or whatever. But if they have chemicals in them, which most of them do, <laughs> um, it's like spraying an entire apple tree with pesticide and then eating every single apple instead of just one. So just one apple, you're going to get some chemicals and it's going to be not good for you. But if you ate the entire apple tree, you are going to get way higher of a concentration of that chemical. And um, it doesn't make any sense to go the extra mile getting rid of chemicals if you're going to use an essential oil that still has chemicals in it. Does that make sense? So um, when we, you know, distill essential oils, there are highly concentrated versions of the plants. And so if there's a chemical in there, it's going to be in there a lot. Um, 
And unfortunately, there's very little regulation for essential oils in the United States. The FDA only requires that 5% of the bottle of essential oil actually contain pure essential oil. The other 95% can be anything else and they do not have to um, list the ingredients. They do not have to disclose what else is put in there. And let me tell you, we know for a fact that there are so many chemicals, synthetic fragrances, all different things. And a lot of these chemicals have not been tested for safety. So what we do know of these chemicals is scary, but what we don't know is probably worse. So that is why C to seal is so important. Um, it's not always about just getting the cheapest version of a product. Um, you know, the quality is what's really gonna matter, especially with essential oils. There's really no point in buying essential oils if they're not going to have the therapeutic effects that they should. Um, but I will say, you don't have to break the bank. I'm just saying also, you probably don't wanna buy the cheapest thing you possibly can buy. So now that we have established, established a little bit about Young Living, let's talk about how we can practically switch to a chemical-free lifestyle. We know why we need to switch. We know who we need to switch our products with, but let's talk about how we actually do that. So first of all, thieves. B-E-E-V-S, thieves. Thieves is your easy button. So Thieves is an essential oil blend. Let's see, do I have it right here with me? I do. Okay, so this is a little bottle of Thieves essential oil. It is a blend of lemon, eucalyptus, cinnamon bark, clove, and rosemary. Um, there's a fun little story that goes behind Thieves, so I'm gonna tell it really quick. Back during the bubonic plague or the black plague, the plague of death, whatever you want to call it, the OG pandemic. People were dying left and right, and there was a group of grave robbers that were going into graves and robbing them to get, you know, the precious items that people would bury themselves with, or they wouldn't bury themselves. People would bury their dead with, and um, these thieves took a blend of botanicals, which was lemon, rosemary, eucalyptus, cinnamon bark, clove, and they took these botanicals and they would like cover themselves in them or however, um, and they never caught the plague, which was a huge deal because, you know, people were dying left and right. It was like crazy time, okay? If, if, of the very few things I remember from history class, I remember learning about the bubonic plague. It was a big deal. So whenever the French government caught them, they actually exchanged the recipe for their freedom. So that is where Thieves comes from. We use Thieves for immune support and for cleaning. It is extremely powerful and it smells really good. It smells like Christmassy because you got that clove and the, um, the cinnamon, which is a nice um, change from the smell of bleach and things of that nature. So the first Thieves product that was inspired by the Thieves essential oil is the Thieves household cleaner. Um, so there was an entire line of products that were inspired by Thieves essential oil, but the first one was the household cleaner. And guys, this is, okay, the whole Thieves line is an easy button, but this is like the easiest of easy buttons because one bottle of Thieves household cleaner, which is a concentrate, so it actually, um, goes really far, which I'm going to talk about in a second, but this concentrate can replace every other cleaner in your house, you guys. It is a multi-purpose to the max. Um, it can replace, and it's not limited to this list, counter spray, oven cleaner, stovetop cleaner, bath and shower cleaner, granite cleaner, hardwood floor cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner, glass and mirror spray, floor cleaner, and even wrinkle release spray. So those are just 10 products, 10 items you won't have to buy if you're buying Thieves Household Cleaner. So that automatically right there is gonna save you money because you're gonna buy this one bottle and if you're like me, it's gonna last you like a year and you won't have to buy any other cleaning products during all that time, which is amazing. 
Um, you can also combine the concentrate with a few other basic items like hydrogen peroxide or baking soda and make so many other useful products for your home. Young Living really makes it so affordable and easy. So I'm gonna show you guys how affordable Thieves Cleaner is. All right, one bottle is $22.50 and it makes 20 16 ounce spray bottles like the one I have here, which I think you can still see me. I think there's still a little mini screen of me. And that's roughly $1 per bottle. Look at this, we've got Mrs. Myers, okay? Which let me just, you know, spoiler alert, Mrs. Myers is greenwashing. It's not actually toxin free. It just, they just make it look like that, okay, you guys? It's really not. But it's almost $4 a bottle. So look, this is gonna be a third of the cost, no, a quarter of the cost of your Mrs. Myers, and it's gonna be way better for you. Way, 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 way better for you. What's great about any of the Thieves products is they are boosting your immune system while you use them, um, which is huge. They are extremely effective. Um, you can look up the Science of Essentials just at Science of Essentials on Instagram. She's done some cool experiments with Thieves Cleaner, which is cool. Um, and then you can customize it. I'm gonna show you guys. You can customize your cleaning experience to whatever you want it to be, um, which is really fun. So this is a 16 ounce spray bottle that I got for free from Young Living a few months back. I'm saving it because I'm gonna give it to my mom because I love her. She doesn't live in the country, so I've gotta wait. So I've just been holding on to it, which is really sad because I wanna use it because it's so cute. Anyways, they have some like pre, like determined dilution ratios here. So one capful in this whole entire bottle filled with just distilled or filtered water is gonna be for like light cleaning. Two capfuls will be for more just like general household cleaning. And then if you did like four capfuls, that would be for really heavy cleaning, degreasing, whatever. Um, I usually do one or two capfuls. I just, I don't really pay attention. And then I add extra oils because I like to make it smell however I want it to smell, all the things. So let's talk about real quick the difference between cleaners, sanitizers, and disinfectants. This is really important for us to know. First of all, cleaners, uh, I'm just gonna read some definitions, okay? A cleaner refers to the removal of dirt, germs, and impurities from surfaces. A cleaner does not claim to kill germs, but by removing them, it lowers their numbers and therefore lowers the risk of spreading infection. Y'all know we're trying to like lower the risk of spreading infection. So Thieves is a cleaner. Um, just as it is, is going to be removing germs, dirt, and impurities. So that's going to hinder the spread of, you know, other bacteria and germs. Sanitizers um, refer to chemicals on a surface used to reduce bacteria by at least 99.9%. So, um, in like a Young Living starter kit, you also will get, or you can buy from Young Living, you'll get a little bottle of Thieves Spray, which is um, a sanitizer. And it has um, alcohol in it, so it can actually, um, you know, kill 99.9% .9 of germs. And then a disinfectant refers to using chemicals on a surface to kill germs. And this process does not clean dirty surfaces or remove germs, but it kills them on the surface after cleaning it. And um, after cleaning it, this disinfectant further lowers the risk of spreading infection. So you're still going to have like the dirt on there, but it's not gonna be able to spread and grow because it's dead. Um, clean services before disinfecting. So this is really great. If you are just like gonna clean your house, you could just spray this. But if you're actually looking to disinfect, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a recipe that you can use. Um, and when disinfecting, you wanna leave the solution on the surface for at least 10 minutes before wiping away, okay? And using the proper dilution ratio. So as far as sanitizer goes, this category will require a base alcohol to be at least 60 to 95% alcohol concentration. Um, so our Young Living 
Thieves hand sanitizer that I love is CDC approved to kill 99.99% of germs and it has denatured alcohol in it. Sorry, I have little bugs from my plant that's in my office. I need to make one of those little mixes that will kill them. All right, so let's talk about hydrogen peroxide and how to use it along with your thieves to be a disinfectant. Um, hydrogen peroxide is considered an environmentally safe alternative to chlorine-based chlorine bleaches as it breaks down into water and oxygen. Commercially available 3% hydrogen peroxide is considered a stable and effective disinfectant by the CDC when used on inanim inanimate objects. Don't spray it on yourself. Hydrogen peroxide has been used as an antiseptic since the 1920s. It kills bacteria by destroying their cell walls in a process called oxidation. Hydrogen peroxide is active against a wide range of microorganisms, including bacteria, yeast, fungi, viruses, and spores. And um, a 0.5% accelerated hydrogen peroxide demonstrated bacterial and bristol words, hard to say, activity in one minute, and mycobacterial cidal words are hard, fungicidal, I should have practiced seeing these words first, in five minutes, okay? I don't even know what half of that means. Let's just keep going. Hydrogen peroxide works by producing destructive hydroxyl free radicals that can attack membrane lipids, DNA, and other essential cell components. Okay, I'm not gonna finish all of this. Let's just let's just leave it with hydrogen hydrogen peroxide is a safe alternative to bleach. Okay. When used as a surface disinfectant, this is the important part, it is ideal to let the solution sit on a surface for at least 10 minutes at room temperature. So let's talk about how we can make a disinfectant cleanser spray, surface spray with thieves. Yay! Okay, so seven ounces of hydrogen peroxide plus one ounce of Thieves Household Cleaner, and 10 to 20 drops of lemon essential oil, or an oil of your choice, combined in an eight ounce spray bottle, and then clean the surface, spray the disinfectant, and let it sit for at least 10 minutes before wiping. And this is safe for skin contact, okay? Um, although, I mean, don't spray yourself down with it. That doesn't make sense, okay? Let's not do that. So, okay, now that we've talked about why we need to switch out our products, why we're going to choose Young Living to do that, and um, some of the little practicals about thieves. I want to tell you about my other simple, easy button for switching toxin, switching out toxins in your home, okay? And this is called the Thieves Starter Kit. It is Young Living's amazing way of giving us an option to just buy a bundle that is at a huge discount and then switch out a bunch of products all at once. So I'm gonna show you guys another graphic. And this one is, oh, look, oh, I meant to show you this earlier. Here are some other recipes that you can um, make with Thieves. Um, if you join our team, our Young Living team, we have tons and tons of recipes for different cleaning products and all the kinds of things. So these are some recipes. If you want to take a screenshot, you can. Um, but like I said, in our team resources, we have so many different recipes. Okay, this is what all comes in the Thieves Starter Kit. It is 125, which is like a major steal because you get so much. You get two of the household cleaners, two of the foaming hand soaps, two of the hand sanitizers, two of the Thieves Spray, and then one mouthwash, one toothpaste, and one 15 ml essential oil. And here's some more recipes if you want them. Um, and you can just read through this if you want or just listen to me talk, whatever. Um, this is how you can get started with Young Living. You get yourself a membership that will get you 24% off of all of our products. And that's how you're gonna start this, what we like to call ditching and switching process, where you ditch toxic products and you switch to all natural plant-based um, chemical free products that Young Living offers. So I love this kit because you can switch out so many 
toxic product all at once. Like we said earlier, the Thieves Household Cleaner is going to replace at least 10 of your regular household cleaners, um, if not more. And these other items are going to replace a lot of other things as well. Whew, okay. So I wanted to let you guys know, just as a side note, before we continue on with the ditching and switching portion of this, um, if you grab your kit within 24 hours of watching this, whether you're watching live or on the replay, I will throw in a really cute diffuser so you can diffuse your Thieves oil right away. If you want to get Thieves out into the air, it's going to do great things for your body and for your environment. So let's see what's the next slide. Okay. So once you have your kit, once you have your Young Living membership, you're going to want to continue your ditch and switch journey, but you don't want to break the bank. You don't want to spend like so much money. Um, and I know it seems really overwhelming to switch out your products, but we have this fancy little term called transfer buying or transfer shopping, where you basically stop buying your products from Target or Amazon or you know, HEB, wherever you shop, and you shop at Young Living instead for um, your products. So not only are you going to get way better quality products, but you're also going to get um, them at a better rate. You're going to get products that can be diluted to stretch further. You're going to get products that are clean and healthy and guaranteed to be safe and effective. Um, and it just doesn't get any more simple than this. Like I'm telling you what, these are my easy button hacks in life. Okay. Everybody needs the easy button. Okay. So these products are stri shipped straight to your door, which is super convenient. You get money back on every purchase when you buy through essential rewards, which I will talk about in a minute. Um, actually I'm going to just like turn this off so you can see my face. So Essential Rewards is Young Living's monthly subscription program. It's completely optional, 110% optional, never required, always free to cancel or free to sign up. Um, there's just no strings attached, but it is literally the best way to get your products from Young Living because you're going to start off automatically by getting 10% back on every purchase in store credit. Look, you guys, Target thinks they're like stepping it up with their red card, but Okay, they're not even giving you 10%. And what I'm about to tell you is going to blow your mind because once you've been ordering from Young Living for three consecutive months, you start to get 20% back on all of your purchases. And after two years, which is where I'm at, you get 25% back on every purchase that you make um, through Essential Rewards, which is insane. Okay, you guys, like that's a quarter of everything that you're spending, you're getting back to like get free products, which is amazing. Not only that, but if you spend a certain amount, you get um, free products, just like add it to your order. They just throw them in there. The promos change every month. And this is how I built my essential oil collection. I don't order a lot of essential oils, but I have built up this crazy collection because I get them for free every month, which is really fun. You also get loyalty gifts every three months for the first year, and then after that every year, and it's just amazing. They spoil the heck out of their customers, so let me just say that. Um, I know it might be a little bit overwhelming. What's really great about it is you can use your starter kit as your first order, so you don't even have to think about all the details because if you want to cancel after you grab your kit, you can for free. If you want to keep going, you have a month to get it all sorted out and learn all about the amazingness of essential rewards and refresh your memory. Um, and so, yeah, you can um, do it however you want to, however it works for you. But this transfer buying process is, it only makes sense to do it through essential rewards because why would you spend the money on these products and not get the points back and store credit and not get free products like it just literally doesn't make any sense to do it the other way because it's going to save you that much more money um i love to save up my points and use them for other things that are maybe more expensive um or things that i just want to spoil myself with or gifts if you have a birthday or um 
a baby shower or something, you can use your points on gifts for other people. So many amazing ways to help you save money, okay? So um, I'm gonna share my screen again because we're gonna talk about how many amazing products Young Living has. So what's really great about Young Living is they really make it so easy for us to switch our products over because they have just about everything you could ever need. I, okay, I'm an all or nothing kind of person. So that's personally my preference. I just like to be one and done. I buy everything from Young Living. I don't go to that side of the grocery store because when I go over to the other side of the grocery store and I browse the aisles, well now I'm like, astounded by all the chemicals that everybody uses. But two, I also spend way more money. When I used to walk into Ulta or wherever to buy makeup or even just in the grocery store, I would like throw down, I would plan to go for one thing and I would end up buying like 10 and I would spend 50 bucks without even thinking about it. Um, so I can't, I can't shop the aisles because I will spend so much more money that way. So this really has helped us save so much money because I just don't even go to that side of the store. No temptation. So these are a, like not a, even a fully extensive list of all the products you can get. But um, yeah, just some of the highlights like we've talked about tonight, all-purpose cleaner, laundry soap, um, dish soap. I love their dish soap. Uh, fruit and veggie wash. Oh my gosh, that is like, it has like a cult following. It is the best stuff ever. It's very satisfying to clean your produce. Let me just say. Okay, they have a whole line of supplements. I love and use so many of them. Um, they even have some food, all the personal care products, a full makeup line that's non-toxic. Um, if you're a mama, tons of stuff for kids, everything. Okay. And even pet stuff. Ooh, guys, we got everything. We got you covered. So, um, here I wanted to share as we wrap up just some ideas of orders that you can do to switch and ditch over time. Um, so these are just some ideas. The PV is basically going to be usually a pretty close dollar equivalent. So the minimum for Essential Rewards is 50 PV and um, that's going to be usually around $50 plus tax and shipping. Um, but when you look at what you're buying, it's amazing because you are going to be, you're not going to be buying those things in the store. So that money you would have spent at the store or at Target or on Amazon, you're just gonna spend it with the Young Living. So it doesn't have to become like a new line in your budget. It can just be used from what you are already spending anyways. What I have done, what other people have done is just like wait till their products run out to buy new things. So obviously this first one right here in the bathroom, a lot of these products come in the Thief starter kit. So if you were to grab the starter kit, you would get the hand soap, you'd get the mouthwash, hand sanitizer, and toothpaste. Um, so you could do something else for your first order after that. But these are just some items, um, some ideas. I love pine oil in my Thieves Cleaner. Makes it smell kind of like pine salt, um, but without the toxins. I use, okay, I'm not even going to bother to say because I pretty much use every single product <laughs> that you're going to see tonight. I use them. I love them. I wouldn't lie to you, I promise. Um, so these are just some examples of how you can slowly make the switch over to cleaner products one month at a time, or even as something runs out, you just order it, you add it to your next order as you're running low. Um, we try to keep it as simple as possible. Obviously not all of these are gonna apply to everybody. If you're not a mom, you're probably not gonna be buying uh, diaper rash cream, but actually some people use it for other things. So, you know, you never know. Um, there's that fruit and veggie soak. It's actually out of stock, I think, right now but it's amazing so you need it as soon as it comes back in stock um I've actually heard that the kids scent shampoo is amazing even for adults so that's something you could think about I dilute a lot of their products I love the orange blossom line um they're really awesome uh also use and love their in their sunscreen um so I didn't even really touch on like a lot of the toxic chemicals that are in our personal care products but let me tell you they're just not good um, we'll probably do another talk on that sometime, but um, today is mainly, mainly focused on cleaning supplies, but there are just toxins in it in so many products. Um, I love their la lavender hand and body lotion. Like, 
I will not use another lotion ever again. I used to hate using lotion and I love this stuff. Oh, whenever I got sunburned earlier this summer, lavender, hand and body lotion with lavender essential oil and peppermint were like the keys to helping my sun, sunburn heal within a few days. It was amazing. And it really helped to take the pain out. Okay, I think that's our last slide, it is. So um, I don't wanna prolong this any further than I have to, because everybody's time is so important. And I just wanna thank you guys so much for being here. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, but I wanna remind you that if you wanna get your Thief Starter Kit um, within 24 hours of watching this video, just hit me up when you watch the video and be like, hey, I'm thinking about it. And that will start your 24 hour time clock. And I would love to hook you up with a diffuser to go along with your kit. There are a bunch of other Young Living Starter Kits. So if you tune in for any of our other classes, you will learn about those. Um, but yeah, okay, so thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I really hope some of this was eye-opening and helped you um, just to realize that making the switch to more natural products is really not as hard or as scary as it may seem to be, um, but it is so worth it. It is so worth it, you guys. Okay. All right. Um, that is it. So I'm going to stop the recording.